Hey everyone, it's me, King Jaw, and I've made a game about trading geometrical gemstones. This game was made for the GeoJam, a game jam lasting three days about geometrical shapes. The theme was Pick a Side. My first idea for this theme was a game about being a secret agent on one side of a war, but then it's revealed you're a double agent working for the other side, and then revealed that you're a triple agent working for the original side, and then it just keeps going on, but uh, yeah, that would be pretty confusing. So, I had another idea. Basically, you play as a collector of three different types of gems, squares, circles, and triangles, and you have to trade with different merchant factions to keep increasing your wealth. These merchants would give you random trades based on certain likes and dislikes I gave them. For example, the hexagons like circles the most, then squares, and then triangles. The idea was that it would be a high score based game, where you try and get as many gems as possible before the timer runs out. So I started by drawing some art. I decided to try a new pixel art style, yet again. This one is kind of like one bit, but there's one color per sprite. I think it helps it stand out a bit more than just regular old black and white. It's also pretty easy to make, but still looks good most of the time. I made these merchant characters and some shops for them to operate. However, after prototyping the gameplay in Unity, I found that the game just really wasn't that fun. Most of the gameplay was basically just kindergarten math, like, ooh, can you find the deal that gets you the most gems? Wow! And there wasn't really any depth to it after that. So I tried to make it more interesting by adding in a timer so you have to keep making trades, and make it so your gems would keep decaying, but it just really wasn't working. At this point, I considered just thinking up a new idea, but I had already put a day of progress into making the systems for this one so I didn't really have time since the jam is only three days. I started thinking back to the game that inspired this one, Reigns. Reigns is a game where you have to keep managing resources by choosing different cards that either lower or increase certain resources. So I decided to make it so instead of just trying to get your gems higher and higher, you have to keep them below a certain number as well. For example, you can't let your gems dip below zero, but you also can't let them go above 10. This created a more interesting gameplay loop. I also brought back the timer between trades because I still wanted to add a real-time mechanic in the game, and also just to make it even more stressful. I then decided that instead of making the game infinite, it would be split into levels with different gimmicks. For example, a level about inflation, one about trading with foreign merchants, even one about, uh, tax evasion. And the way you would progress through each of these levels would be by making trades until the number at the top right runs out. So after adding all these levels in the game, I realized that the systems I had were pretty complicated, and I would need some sort of tutorial to explain them. So I decided that instead of being the collector, you could work for the collector instead, and I can have the actual collector explain things like how the systems all work. So I add in this intro cutscene, and some dialogue before each level. I imagine that the Collector would be this sort of creepy and mysterious character, so for some reason I just decide they should put random words in quotes. I don't really know why. You can press T to access this tutorial again if need be. Just do your best and hopefully you won't get fired. <laughs> I also made a dialogue system that was basically the most simple dialogue system I could think of since it was pretty close to the end of the jam. You literally just click and then it shows the next dialogue line. And I also made a music track that plays during the game which you heard at the beginning of this devlog. No, it's not the Doom music. So, that's basically the end of this video. Anyways, bye.